Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. So I uploaded a video yesterday of uh, catching the Trophy Bull Shark, 407 pounds. So today we have my new biggest fish and I kept this quiet, I didn't say exactly the size of it. Is all I said was that I caught a new biggest fish. To mention, anytime I do live streams, I always use face camera mic for videos like this. I just hit that record button. This is how I get these good clips. And uh, it saves me setting up the face cam every time, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, if you are new and you're interested in Fishing Planet, it's a good reason to subscribe. And uh, make sure you drop a like as well if you guys are still enjoying Fishing Planet. If you want to become a member and support the channel a little bit more, the link will be in the description below. If not, it's cool by at least subscribing and... Um, yeah, if you're able to share my content, please do. It does help me grow as a content creator. I appreciate everyone who does do that. So, with the fish, my new biggest fish, it is towards the end of the video. But I thought I would, um, I thought I'd put a few different clips in together because I wanted to have a bit of a chat with you about the video that I uploaded, which was fishing planet. Um, longest fish fight ever, which I was fighting the fish real in real time about 25 minutes. I hit record and then I recorded for an hour and 33 minutes. Yeah, insane. So in total, I don't know if you, some of you might have seen it, some not, but that's like nearly two hours of real time of me fighting the fish and I just could not bring it in. Loads of people said it was a bug and other people said they've had the same problem with the Arapaima. So I'm guessing that's what it is. It was a game bug. But I did say don't ever put your anchor down because if you put your anchor down and um, you get a fish on, <laughs> that could happen. Two hours. But I thought is what I'd do is I will do it. I put the anchor down. I thought I'd give it another shot. So this time it is actually working. So I think maybe it was a game bug. But um, I'm still using the anchor as I speak. But instead of me fighting the fish for too long, if I'm... I will fight it, I keep an eye on the time. If I'm fighting it for any more than 30 minutes and I've not made any progress, I'm just going to I'm just gonna call it quits and kind of cut my line off. So that way it's um, never ending, yeah. But I haven't had that problem since I have used the anchor a lot. I put many, many hours into catching these sharks and the best thing I can recommend is definitely from 8pm to 9, 10, 11, even up to 12, up to midnight. And when I say that, it has to be a sunny and cloudy day between um, 8 p.m. to 9. And they're not for the 9, anything after 9 p.m., you need it to be a cloudy day. It doesn't matter if it's cloudy and the moon or cloudy and stars, but if it's cloudy and raining, that doesn't work. Although it kind of does work, but it's just very slow fishing, not a very fast pace. And the quickest way that I've figured it out, I put my leader at 107 inches and um, titanium leader. I will show you all the setup and where I'm fishing and stuff, just in case you've never seen me fish here. But the titanium leader is an 81.5 pound titanium leader. And the line, I took the line down because I was using a 76 braid, but now I'm using the 69.5 pound braid. Just because it works better with this rod. So this rod is a match rod, which is a spell launcher. Um, video clips that I've got here, some of them are from PS4 and a couple of clips are from PC. At least I think that's the way it's going to be by the time I finish making the edits. But yeah, at the minute I think I'm on PS4. I'm actually doing a voiceover for this video because um, I lost the original audio. But... My friend here, who I've been fishing with, he's caught a lot of, um, well, I say my friend, he's one of our fellow subscribers. He's been, I go into a friends only room, and you guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, you can add me as a friend on PlayStation or on Steam. And you can come fish with us, and when I make videos, if you want to be in it, just like this guy wants to, um, yeah, then obviously, if I manage to get a good fish or I'm making a, a video, you will obviously be in it. So, for the... Uh, PlayStation 4, it is YT in capitals, Bubbles Way. But if you want to add me on Steam on PC, uh, then that is YouTube.Bubbles.Way. <laughs> you can also follow me on Twitter, which I recommend, because um, by doing that, I d when these updates drop, I obviously do all the new missions, show lots of hotspots, and show all the new gear and stuff. And because I'm dropping so many videos in one day, uh, YouTube can't always get catch up with the notifications so for the uh twitter i will link that in the description below 
But for Instagram, I also have Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, it is YT Bubbles Way. I probably use Twitter more than Instagram, if I'm honest. But um, yeah, anytime I go live or anytime I make videos, I always post them on, on both of those as well, both of those other platforms. So if you never want to miss, it's probably a good idea to follow on, on either one of those. So here we go. This was £407. That's not bad. I still haven't quite reached level 70 on PS4. And that's because I grinded it out from level um, 65 up to 68 to get to this place. And the reason why I did that is people kept asking me how do I level up fast from level 63 to 68. So I made a video on it. Still haven't finished editing that video yet. So um, <laughs> I've got to do that. But eventually that video will come to the channel of me grinding from level 65 to 68. Or it will be titled from level 63 to 68 because I fished in Maroon. Uh, Maron up until the point I was high enough to come here in Amazonia maze so this is all my setup that I'm using here I was using this float in the end I did go back to the waggler is there any difference between the waggler and that I don't really think so to be honest like I haven't really noticed that I catch any faster or any slower so um yeah I've been doing lots and lots of testing I'll set a marker for that so that way you guys can see where I've caught it yeah, I've done so much testing over the last, I think, four days straight. I've just been, I don't even know how many hours. Each each time I've played it, must be at minimum of around about 14 to 16 hours of me catching these fish. So that, here's another one. That's 405 pounds. So I think that one was the one that I caught on the PC, actually. I'm pretty sure that was the, uh, yeah, that was the one that I caught on the P on the PC. That's not the biggest one. There is there is bigger and it's coming straight after this. So yeah, same place. I'm still fishing in the same location, but that's on PC. And uh yeah, this so this location will obviously work for PS4 for Xbox consoles and yeah. So it all works for the same place. Here, my leader needs to be 107 inches that's how I've set it obviously you get in your boat it does take a little minute to drive to here but it's not as bad as driving to the Arapaima I've made lots of other videos of how to catch unique Arapaima and the Tahara and the electric eel and the new bass and yeah so all of those <laughs> how to catch those uh, unique new fish in this place videos you'll find across the channel I made a playlist now as just fishing planet so here it is my new biggest fish 433 pounds that is absolutely insane i did try today because i'm uploading a little bit late today i was trying to see if i could get any bigger than that and uh, i don't know it's strange some days i catch really really fast and then some days it's like the fish go go a little bit on a diet so um <laughs> but yeah uh maybe maybe i might try to catch some more if i do get anything bigger than that obviously i'll make another video of it and i'll show you guys but for now that is my new biggest fish, 433 pounds. And those three green markers there, that's where I call all big monster fish. So, um, yeah, if you're, if you're looking for a hot spot, this is definitely a good spot to catch really, really fast. Huge cut bait seems to work well. And the barbless hook hash 10, as you see up there. So that's my complete setup there on the uh, rod that I used just to show you guys. And obviously there I'm using a normal float. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on. Don't forget to drop a like. And we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.